So we're now really near the end of the road to Bear Lake next to Route 36 in Rocky Mountain National Park. And this boulder stands out as you drive along the road because it has this really flat side. And we are in a moraine area and you can tell by looking at the boulder strewn lump, lumpy topography that's in this area. And in the video of the moraine, you might have to use a little imagination seeing the flat sides on the boulders there. But this is a really excellent example of one of these flat sides that form when the boulder is being dragged along bedrock by the glacier. And what you can also see in there, and it's very subtle, is that there's glacial striations. And so what glacial striations are, are little grooves that are carved into the rock formed by that grinding process as well. And so, and they're all parallel to each other. And it's a little misleading because there's some clots of muscovite and selimanite probably in this granite as well. And the striations are close to parallel to those, but not exactly. And so one really good striation we can see is oriented just like this. And it's smoother and more polished on either side. And we have a little groove that's a little more rough. And the reason why these striations are preserved is when they built the road, they uncovered this fresh surface. And we know that because the lichens are pretty small. If we look on other parts of this boulder and other boulders that are at the surface of the moraine, they're all covered with lichen, indicating they've been exposed to the surface for quite a while. Seeing such things as glacial striations in glacially polished surfaces is often dependent upon lighting. And when I shot that video, the lighting was such that it didn't highlight the glacial striations nearly as well as I would have liked. So I'll offer you this picture here, which was taken by my colleague, Dr. Keith Brueger at the University of Minnesota, Morris. He took this picture in Norway after he had helped me doing field work in Sweden earlier in the summer. And you can see a beautiful glacial striation just to the right of the sunglass case on this beautiful glacially polished surface. There's many other glacial striations in the surface as well. And you can think about what the glacial striation orientation might mean with respect to glacial flow.